All right, guys, so today I want to go through all of the patches that's included in Sensation Volume 3 for Main Stage 3. So here we go. The first patch is right here. A really, really nice thick pad with a reverse thing going on right there. And this patch was inspired by a song called The Love Inside by Laura something. Uh, second, we have real fat pad a really nice atmosphere type of pad so here we go and then we have a quarter pad white pad I was going for a pad uh, that sounds like another Jesus culture type of pad, but then at the end it came out sounding like a pad that that, that you hear in the album, the White Album remix album uh, by Hellsong United. So that's that, and then a uh, cool pad. This is kind of similar to Awesomeness, the reverse pad. But this one has more attack and, and, and it's a little more aggressive. This one is a little more soft. So, and then we have a Jupiter A string, type of string. Uh, it can be used in a lot of stuff. That sounds really, really nice. And then... The higher note sounds better than the lower one because the lower one, to be able to make the patch sound like this, uh, I had to detune it and, and a lower patch doesn't sound doesn't sound as, as, as good so try not to use the lower part but to use the higher one and this this is uh, inspired by a song called Shorts by Katie Torwell and here we have a mana analog lead with the mud wheel all the way down it sounds like that and then Really nice uh, lead sound, and then um, uh, and a patch for the song "Closer" by Hillsong Worship. Um, and then a patch I was able to create in, in the plugin in the sculpture plugin and then a patch for song a million songs okay and then a whole bunch of uh, patches that was inspired by the song I this I believe uh, by the newest Hilson worship album
and then the patch that goes underneath it. No, actually the, the one that does the melody. And then the arp that goes underneath. Okay, and then I have this. Also, there is a patch in Omnisphere that sounds like this, so... Alright, and then... And then the old school pad heard on the album Across the Earth. Okay, and then the lead for uh, three rooms here. All right, and then just something I came up with, and then the relentless arp. Okay, and then an airy path. And then... So you really can get creative with this when you combine them with uh, different patches, especially with the uh, pulsing pad. Okay, and then a second version of that, uh, 8-bit. Okay, and then uh, another patch. Another pulsing patch. Okay, and then... I patch her on a song turned up by uh, Planet Shakers. By the bridge, you hear that something that goes like that. And then uh, a, a toyish patch her on the song Oceans. So that's that. And then this. And then, um, uh, some patches that was inspired by the song called Voyage, or whatever you pronounce it. And this one right here. Okay, and then all right, and then a basic path. Church pad. And then a patch that was inspired by 
watching a video of a girl playing a space drum and things like that. So, and then another one with a uh, more bass in it. Okay, and then a patch that I couldn't find a name for it. So that's that, and then. lovely bass, a pulsing bass sound and which is also really really good uh, for lead okay and then That funny thing going on right there when you put the mud wheel up. All right, then I'm gonna try to be quick here. All right, and then. Uh, this patch was just inspired by the song. Uh, really, you really don't hear this patch in the song. So, right when you put the mud wheel up, that's what you get. And then this one. And then... And then... A patch that was inspired by Jordan Rudis. And then... And then an organ patch that was made in... Yes, two cent. All right, and then this one. And then the pocky arm. Okay, and then a really nice um, fat bass. <laughs> Okay, and then since a lot of people uh, have asked me for uh, a bass sound uh, for when they don't have a bass player, so I decided to create a bass type of sound from uh, the ES2 synth. There's there's no sample going on right here. This is this is just the synth. And then I added some, uh, I EQ it the way I like to EQ my bass. Also added um, a bass amp and effect for it. And then an exciter to get, to get what I think I like to hear when I play bass. So. And then when you go higher, it kind of sounds like a, a fretless bass. Alright guys, so these are the new 50 patches that's included in my third library for main stage 3, so hope you uh, like it and that's all see you in the next video